Okay, hi. Um, this is weird. I'm filming a video by myself. Uh, see how it goes. Hopefully I'm not too awkward and weird. Um, well, it's very strange to be talking to myself in the bedroom, listening to my own service, and hoping that, uh, no one busts through the door and interrupts me. So, um, welcome to this solo video. It's a video vlog edition of the Beauty Blog to talk about my, um, must-have travel makeup. So I'm uh, going to New York for 10 days to visit a friend and explore the city and just uh, have a crazy first New York visit. Um, and so I'm trying to uh, minimize the amount of stuff that I'm packing there as far as makeup goes. Um, when I say minimize, it's uh, using that term really generously because I still have a crap ton of stuff that I'm packing. Um, but it's all going to fit in this Betsy Johnson makeup bag. So, starting off first, must bring my brushes. Um, whoops. I have an assortment of um, Bobbi Brown and some other brushes that I've acquired. Um, I've got my large um, powder brush here from MAC, which I use for doing like bronzer and um, sometimes blush, highlighter, things like that. Um, this uh, Sonia Kashuk um, foundation brush, which I use for stippling and also for buffing out foundation. Um, a Quo contouring brush. Um, and my Artisan uh, Makeup Forever uh, highlighter brush, which I talked about previously in an intro video. And then really everything else is just, you know, your general, like, um, a MAC liquid liner, cream liner, um, brush there, lip brushes, um, the different smudger brushes, concealer brush, um, blush brushes, and just different, um, yeah, eye, eyeshadow brushes in there. So I roll this up into my little kit, and uh, that's all going to come with me. Um, now to my face, I've got this um, Sephora Brand Primer. You got it. Uh, I just picked this up and so far I'm living it and I feel like I'm going to be running around the city for like 12, probably 15, 18 hour days just running around being crazy and exploring so I want to make sure my face stays intact so uh, a primer is a must. So I've got that in there and then foundation, um, I'm going to be bringing my Giorgio Armani uh, Luminous Silk Foundation. And it's just a really great um, full coverage foundation. It goes on really well with my Beauty Blender, which I'll also be packing. And um, I just sort of sponged it all over and I find it holds up really well for a, a long day. So that's definitely coming with me. Um, and then concealer, I've just got this Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, concealer that I use on any blemishes or under my eyes. Um, anywhere that needs a little concealing and then for um eyelid primer which i don't use day to day but if i'm having a really long day um be here i use this smashbox um photo finish lid primer just makes your eyeshadow stick a little bit better um for the rest of my facial stuff um i contour with actually this is kind of bizarre but um it's just a cover girl uh, pressed powder for someone who's about 75 shades darker in skin tone than me. Um, and I actually use this to contour with because it's just a darker um, pressed powder that is in a totally matte finish. Um, so I really like it for contouring because there's with bronzers a lot of time you get some like shine and shimmer and glimmer and uh, for contouring I don't really want any of that. So this is a great option for that. Uh, so contour the cheekbones, forehead, whatever, jawline, etc. Gotta have it. Um, my Makeup Forever Photo Finish um, Powder, Press Powder. This is just for an all over powder. Um, gives a nice matte finish. Uh, easy to build up the coverage with it. So if you had really good skin, which I currently do not, um, you could even just use this. No foundation at all. It's a really great product. Highly recommend and a must have for travel because it's good for touch ups throughout the day. Um, and then I've got my Guerlain uh, Terracotta um, Light in uh, the blonde color. Bronzer. Just again, I'm pale as a vampire, so it gives me just a nice glow so I don't frighten anybody, hopefully. Um, and adds some dimension to the face. It's got some shimmer in there and it's definitely going in my day. Um, I'm bringing two blushes. One is this um, 
powder blush from uh, Lancome, and it's just in a sheer uh, am oh girl, amber rose color. It's just a nice soft pink, and that's you know just for like lighter color, um, just a bit of flush, daytime looks. And then I bought this Tarte um, Doll Face Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, which is a much more intensely pigmented color, and it's really great for when I want to have a bit of a more intense glow. Um, and then my highlighter is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, and uh, highlighting tops of the cheekbones, around the eyes, uh, chin, top of the nose, wherever you want a little extra dimension. Um, so I know that's a lot of stuff just for my face, but it um, all adds up to be, well, whatever this is going on right now. <laughs> Um, and then for brows, I'm bringing, this is actually a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in uh, blonde. And I use it for my brows and I also use it for my lids, so two for one. And uh, this e.l.f. Um, clear brow gel and mascara, which I just use to set everything in place. Um, and then for eyes, I'm bringing just three eyeliners. Um, a gray and a brown, which is the um, waterproof, uh, it's the Aqua Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner for Makeup Forever in brown. And this is by far the, my favorite um, waterproof liner that I've ever used. It lasted me through like a super sweaty gym session uh, the first time I tried it, so I was sold. And it's super soft, it goes on really well, no pulling or tugging on your eyelids. And uh, it seriously lasts all day. It's super waterproof, but also easy to get off at the end of the night with some waterproof makeup remover. So um, if you don't have a waterproof liner that you like, definitely pick up the Aqua Eyes for Makeup Rubber. Um, and then just a gray, just a drugstore brand gray eyeliner. And then this um, Smashbox Cream Eyeliner in Picasso, which is a dark blue. Um, it's just kind of fun to have a little bit of color to play with. Um, and if I feel like not using sort of a black or a brown, I can do a little blue. I'm not actually bringing a black eyeliner because I'm bringing my trusty Naked 2 palette, which was a birthday present from my much-loving sisters. Um, this is from Urban Decay, and as you can see, it's got a black, um, it's got a black eyeshadow. So um, I just use that as a liner, and it sets really well. All the colors are so wearable. Um, it's good for day to night, um, night to day if you have to go that way, uh, and it's got like grays, pewters, bronze, champagne, gold, black. It's really the ideal palette for traveling because I can create pretty much any look from a subtle day look to a sexy smoky eye. So it's awesome. Definitely recommend it for traveling, especially because you don't have to pack, you know, an entire train case. Then I'm just throwing in a couple of fun matte colors. Um, Sketch, which is a sort of iridescent violet, purpley color. And then uh, Paradisco, which I love. It's like a goldy pinky orange kind of color. And that is just for a little bit of fun. Um, some color if I feel like it's playing things up a bit. Um, and then just some other essentials, the baby lips. Uh, Lip Balm SPF 15 and my Guerlain Kiss Kiss Lip Lift Lip Primer, which you have to have if you're going to be packing all these lip products. <laughs> so that's where the fun comes in for me. I keep it simple-ish with the eyeshadow and the liner, um, but the lipstick is where I think you can really have fun. And it's really easy to create a lot of different looks with a few products, so I'm bringing two um, MAC lip liners. I'm bringing magenta and I'm also bringing, which I just picked up tonight and I'm wearing it right now, Night Moth, which is a super dark purple, brownish kind of purple, um, really goth and vampy kind of. Um, but I saw a girl working at MAC tonight had um, Russian red layered over top, as you can see here. And it totally toned it down. It was a super cool color. So I'm definitely bringing my Russian red so I can play with my Night Moth. And um, the lipstick that I'm wearing right now that I bought with it is um, Cyber, which is a, again, super dark purple. I did a post bow purple lips recently in the Beauty Blow Up and I'm obsessed. So I finally got my hands on a color that I loved. Um, so those are coming as well. So I can do a bit of color play there. 
Um, and then I never leave home without a good nude. Uh, so myth, lovely nude. The first nude ever that um, Megan insisted that I try and I fell in love immediately. I don't know how I went like 20 years of my life without wearing nude lipstick, but anyway, that's coming as well. And then for a fun bright pink, we have Stila uh, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Fior. And this lives up to the name. It stays all day. It does not budge. It does not come off through eating, drinking, sweating, talking, hugging, kissing, whatever. It stays on all day. Um, so it's just got a lip brush there. Dries nice and matte. It's an awesome color. And I think it could be fun with some of the lip liners I'm bringing too to create a totally unique color. And then I always bring a perfect red. And so this time around, I'm bringing my e.l.f. matte lip color. And it's just this, oh, what is it even called? Rich red. And it just fits up. It's got a sharpener build it to the end, which, I mean, for $3, that's pretty high tech. So you can see, it's just a really nice um, sort of true red. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see I Instagram the picture of me wearing it recently. And it is, for $3, one of the best reds I've ever experienced. So that's coming. And last but not least, in the lip department, we talked about this on the Intuit. It's the Guerlain 7 million word long named uh, matte liquid lip stain. It's coming to you because, well, as we talked about, um, it was expensive and I need to get my money's worth. So this is coming with me because it's a really easy color to last all day as well. And last but not least, mascara. Um, so usually I wear Guerlain uh, Maxi Lash. But Shoppers was all sold out, and I needed new mascara, and I was too annoyed to run around looking for it. So I picked up um, Hypno Star from Lancome in a cool sparkly bottle, bonus. Um, and it's got a really interesting shaped brush. It's sort of flat, but triangular. So we'll see what that does, and um, that'll be my New York experiment, is trying out a new mascara. Um, so... I'll throw that in the bag and it just zips up so I am good to go and this is gonna be my New York beauty bag and thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!